I want to share with you an incredible game of Magic the Gathering I've recently had. It was really intense, you just can't make this up. Now, in case someone doesn't know Magic the Gathering, it's basically a card game where you try to kill your opponent, reduce their health from 20 all the way down to zero. That way you win. Every round you draw a card and out of the cards in your hand you place a land. Lands basically work as currency in the game and for those lands you can buy creatures or different kinds of spells. Creatures you use to attack your opponent, reducing his health, or you can block attacks incoming from the opponent's creatures. The spells can pretty much do everything you can imagine. Draw cards, kill creatures, deal damage to your opponent or the creatures. Now there's one mechanic which is usually not exploited, and that is another way you can win the match. Whenever a player starts his turn, he has to draw a card from his deck. However, if the deck is empty and there are no cards in it, and he tries drawing one, basically he starts his turn, he loses the game instantly. So if the deck is empty, that's an insta-death, basically. Now the deck I created does exactly that. It tries discarding or destroying all the cards in the opponent's deck. The rest of the cards in my deck are there to keep me alive as long as possible, so that I have time to destroy the opponent's deck. It's basically a time-wasting thing. However, if this works right, the opponent can rage so much. Let me show you. Now, based on my avatar, my opponent is a she, so I'm gonna call her she. At the start of the game, you draw seven cards. Now, I can decide whether I want to draw a new hand of cards or keep those. I decided to keep them. My opponent is still taking her sweet time to decide, but then I'm gonna play a land. Each of the lands has different colors, so, so those lands basically give mana, and mana is the currency. Now this land is a special one, and it enters the battlefield tapped, which means that it's been basically used and I can't use it this turn. The cards you have in your battlefield can be used, as you see, my opponent just placed down a land in the normal way and tapped it and bought this artifact and equipment. On the top right corner, it costs one land. Now, I am going to place down or play this creature, which has a special ability that whenever I play a land, it actually gains me one life. Now, I'm just studying the artifact. You can equip it. so. The opponent is gonna have to play a creature and equip the artifact to that creature, giving us certain bonuses. My creature is a special kind, it's a defender, which means that it cannot attack. Now its attack is zero, its defense is three, those are two numbers on the creature. Opponent placed another artifact, uh, gives plus one, plus two to the equipped creature, and this is yet another equipment artifact. So we can already see what type of deck the opponent is gonna have. Now I'm gonna play another creature that's still the same one, as I said, attack 0, defense 3, play another land, so both of those creatures should trigger their ability and heal me by one each. Um, now the way combat works in this game is that each turn you get to attack with your creatures. Uh, they would deal amount of damage, which is their attack, and the opponent's creatures can block these attacks. So this creature, for example, has two attack, one defense, so if my opponent decides to attack me with the creature, I will get, oh, and it's 3-3 three, three now, because um, my opponent used all of his artifacts and equipped them to this creature, so it's really strong. Four attack, four defense. The way I could kill this creature is by dealing 4 damage to it, since it has 4 defense, basically 4 lives. But now I've got some lands, so I'm gonna try and start, you know, using my deck properly. Now I just played a simple spell to draw 2 cards, discard another card, played a land, so again that's 2 lives gained. Now, hopefully, I think my opponent is gonna attack me with the creature. 
if I were to block the creature with my defenders, you know, with at least one of my creatures, I wouldn't be dealt any damage, so still 24 lives, but my creatures would die, and I really don't want that. So I'm just gonna skip blocking, and you know, whatever artifacts, whatever damage, fuck that, 20 lives. So I'm back to the starting amount. Now this is an interesting creature, it has 5 attack, 5 defense, that's a lot, trust me, that's like a, really a lot. It only costs 2 mana, but it cannot attack or block while the opponent has cards in their hand. So right now that's a simple land for me, 2 more lives, and then I'm probably, yeah, well I can easily, you know, play this spell, which gives me two cards in my hand, and those are exactly the two same cards as the one I've already played. And I've got that fork card in my hand ready to go. As I said, this deck is to waste time until I can start discarding cards from my opponent's deck. Now the opponent has no cards in her hand, and that means that those two creatures, the strong ones, can attack. Now, all she has to do is equip all of these beautiful artifacts to the creatures, giving them various bonuses, making them really strong, and this is gonna hurt. So that's, what, 17 damage, and I've got 22 health. So I can either block with my creatures, or skip blocking and quickly play the fog card. The fog card is a beautiful one, and it prevents any combat damage that is gonna be, that you know is dealt this turn. So all the creatures attacked, their you know hits landed, but prevented all combat damage. And this card is beautiful. That's exactly what I need. That's my you know winning strategy. I can't win without that card I've just drawn. But there was no point in playing that and wasting lands, so I just drew two cards, played a single land, and gained some more lives. Now I can't really attack, nor would it make any sense since my creatures don't have attack, and it's now my opponent's turn. One card in her hand. What's it gonna be? And yeah, oh shit. It's another creature, it's haste, which means that the creature can attack immediately, even on the turn it was placed on the battlefield, which usually the creatures can't do, they have what's called summoning sickness. And oh boy, okay, how much is that? 7, 10, 15 and 6, so 21 damage. I'm just gonna skip it, not block, I still want to use my creatures for some more healing, but that's 21 damage. So luckily I've healed quite a bit, so I have still 3 health left. 3 health, that's it, nothing else. But now, You know what to, what to do now there isn't much i can do i can heal myself a little you know search my library for a few basic land cards gain seven lives well you know it doesn't help that much so i'm just gonna pick one land of each color this deck has three colors and that's seven lives gained from the spell i just cast and three lives from each of those uh, creatures, giving me 15 lives. 16 now, okay. Now I believe I've done the calculations right. I needed to get a few more lands in play so that I can start playing proper strong cards. However, in my hand there are no cards which would prevent me or the opponent from dealing any damage next turn. So from all I know, this is my last turn. I'm just gonna sacrifice both of my creatures defending 
Now, that 7 slash 7 creature is insane. Because it's Vigilance, which means that it can attack without actually tapping, you know, immobilizing itself. And also, it's a Trample, which means that any damage I block gets, you know, removed from that attack and the rest passes through to me. So I'm just discarding all my creatures and blocking all of the damage from that 5-5 five five and the 4-4. Four four, the second and the third strongest creature. And look at that. Destroy all non-land creatures. I just drew this card. I'm gonna pay more lands and actually awaken the special ability of that card. But it now destroyed all the creatures my opponent had. And I still have this land, which now is also a 4 slash 4 creature. I didn't attack because this land, uh, I mean this deck, is there not to deal damage, but to waste time and discard opponent's deck, as I said. But also one of the artifacts the opponent has gives a trample or haste to the creatures so my opponent could technically play a creature and attack at the same turn and i would have no way to block all that incoming damage that being said oh, i forgot that already and i play this card tapped the land which means i can't use it for blocking silly me so hopefully my opponent doesn't draw a creature yeah see haste so luckily my opponent draw a land and it's my turn again. Now I get to trigger those two special cards, enchantments, and each time I draw a card, my opponent discards two cards from the top of their deck. If, however, those two cards are non-land and they share a color, I get to do it again. Now I play a spell so that I can draw two cards, which means each of those deck discarding cards get triggered twice look at that only 28 cards left in her deck 18 already discarded and i'm gonna do it again so draw two cards and trigger each of these enchantments twice and that's beautiful look at that i've just drawn these two cards that's again basically kill all the opponent's creatures including mine but it doesn't matter no i've played a land which triggers this enchantment, healing me by two. I get to attack. No thanks. Don't really need that. And let's see what my opponent has. And it's another land. And look at that. My opponent has been replaced by AI. They rage quit. Decided there's no point in trying to win this game. They're clearly done. Even though I had three lives at some point but let's gain some more lives play some more lands discard some more cards i might go for this card as well when i play it i get to discard or exile destroy two of my opponent's cards on the battlefield any two i choose so i obviously went with the equipment that gives creatures haste so that they can attack immediately once played and it's a 10 slash 10 creature it's indestructible as well which means that it cannot be killed but it's really expensive so i wouldn't say overpowered but it seems that my opponent is done played a creature um that's actually a pretty good creature so you know bunch of stuff gained many abilities and my opponent can immediately um, equip it with some artifacts. Uh, some artifacts actually get equipped just by the creature coming into play. Because those artifacts are really good. So they do it by themselves. Look at that 4 slash 4. And it's a first strike. Not gonna explain what that means because we don't need to. But it's my turn. I've drawn a card. So trigger those enchantments each once. That's 10 cards left in my opponent's deck. I'm just gonna play a few cards to be perfectly safe. Let's play a land, cause why not? Heal ourselves. I've got two of those enchantments as well, so that's double healing. 12 lives at this point. 
and I can as well do this special ability. So draw a card, discard a card immediately, and that's again triggered these abilities. So my opponent has eight cards, six cards in her deck. Now it's my turn to attack and this beautiful creature whenever attacks it exiles or destroys 20 cards from the opponent's deck. <laughs> the attack doesn't even have to land, it's just whenever it attacks. So look at that, my opponent deck, my opponent's deck is empty and my turn has ended, it's my opponent's turn. They want to draw a card, they can't. So that's me winning the game. That's insane. I was down to three lives and my opponent then had to rage quit. I mean, I can't blame her, she, she just couldn't bear this, you know, that's disgraceful, honestly. That's a disgrace, like, like how, how hard is that to bear? You've got all of these enchantments, I mean, you've got all these artifacts, all these creatures, you're dealing over 20 damage every turn and then your opponent destroys all of your creatures and discards your deck. I mean, I would cry if that happened to me. Let me know what you think. Are there any weaknesses of the deck? I'm just a little sad that I couldn't showcase the deck properly because there are many more cards we couldn't even see or we couldn't get to see. But if you're interested, I would love to show you more as each game, even with the same deck, is quite unique as the combinations of cards you draw are different each time and your deck interacts with the opponent's deck differently every time as well. Let me know your thoughts.